Alright, hello. I'm going to show you a little tutorial here. So have you ever wanted to uh, be able to put your uh, your iron in chest? Put a couple in there. And then have it pop out in another chest all processed. And now you can put any ore here. You can put iron. You could put uh, lead. Or you could put basically any kind of ore. Let's... Uh, do one of these meters here. You can put two in at once, you can put three in at once, it doesn't really matter. It'll all get processed. So the iron goes in there, it'll come out here using pulverizers. Not only that, but it'll double your output. <coughs> double your output with this setup. This is the uh, not so fancy version, but we're going to show you how to do that today. So, what you're going to need, I'll do this in a Here. Do this in a we'll do this in survival. That way you can see that it's not that hard. Alright. So we're in survival. These are the materials you're gonna need for the pulverizer. You're gonna need two flint, four glass, four tin, six iron, three redstone, four cobble. Three oak wood, one gold, eight copper. For the furnace, you're going to need eight brick, one gold, three redstone, five iron, eight copper, four tin, four glass. Um, this is just, I'm going to show you how to make uh, bricks here at the end. If you don't know how to make bricks with clay, the chest is, uh, you should know how to make that. So I just put that in there. Um, uh, this is how you make flux duct right here, six redstone, one lead, one glass, another lead, and then this is how you make uh, item ducts, two tin and a lead, and then a servo, which you're going to need, so you need a glass, one redstone, two iron, and a uh, iron, two iron nuggets. <coughs> so let's uh, make a little crafting table here. Alright, so what you're going to do, so to make these, I'm going to go... First, we'll make the pulverizer. So, the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a piston. Recipes like this, not that hard. Craft one. There you go. Then, what you need is a machine frame. Again, not that hard. But first, you need a tin gear. You get a tin gear, it's 410 and an iron. Get that tin gear. Then, you need to finish out your machine casing with the gear that you just got. So, four glass and then four iron and that gear. Your machine frame, a uh, coil here, so two redstone, a piece of gold, and then you need two copper gears, which are just four copper. Make another one here. All right, so then you make your pulverizer. You just put it out there. You got your two flint, your piston, machine frame, redstone coil, and then your two gears. Bam, pulverizer, done. All right, next thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a redstone furnace. And this will all be powered off of uh, RF, which is by far the easiest form of power to get. So, piece of redstone, got that, bricks. Take your four little bricks, make that easy enough. You need two of those, crop those up together. Then you need another machine frame, so another tin gear, I already showed you to make that, so that's easy enough. Then you need two more copper gears. And then you need another uh, one of these little uh, coils here. Same way, one redstone, another piece of gold. So then you gotta put this together. Get your machine frame. Put it all together. Bam, redstone furnace. Easy enough. Now what we gotta make here, we need to make the uh, the uh, leadstone pipe. So, item ducts. So we need an item duct. I go for the uh, the opaque ones because they're the cheapest. That's all it is. It's just a tin, a lead, and a tin. Make six of them. So however however big you want to make this thing is however many you're going to need. So that will vary. So there, item ducts. Easy enough. Next thing we're going to make here, we'll make. Uh, flux ducts which are 
also very easy. Bloodstone flux ducts. Two pieces of lead, piece of glass, six. Uh, lead, lead, redstone, redstone, glass. Again, you might need more or less, more, more than six. That's up to you. Depends on your uh, your setup. And lastly, we need a servo. So it's just the basic servo will work. Two iron nuggets, piece of glass, piece of redstone, and then two pieces of iron. Crack that up. So now that we have all our materials, we'll have our oak chest here. We'll need that. Um, let's get this built. All right, so first thing I'm going to do here is I'll build a wall. This is to show you that it can be, uh, you can hide it. So it doesn't have to all be uh, exposed, which is nice. What I usually do is I usually put it in a basement. You can wire this to anywhere. So first thing you're gonna do you're going to dig a hole and this will be your access port here so if this is the inside of your house you're going to place your chest we'll place item ducts you need to get your uh, your item ducts to uh, transfer so place your chest or an item ducts to the back Or wherever this is to wherever your uh, your setup's gonna be. I usually put in the basement for this. I'm just gonna put it on a wall here. And you can run that up. Now the next step right here is you need to put a servo on it. And what this will do is it'll pull items out of your chest and into the item ducts. Now this step's pretty key. You have to go into the servo. So just uh, right click it, right click on that servo, go to redstone enabled, and then hit ignored. Uh, otherwise it won't know to pull items out. Make sure I switch back over here. here. So I actually need more uh, item decks for this to work. So I'm just gonna spawn them in. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is now, I usually like to uh, put it first. So you run, that pipe has to go into your pulverizer. This can go straight down into a basement, it can go into an upper floor, it doesn't really matter. It just has to go into the pulverizer. And then what you need to do is you need to put one off to the side, one off to the bottom. So you need two outs. Um, and then you can connect those two to a uh, redstone furnace. So you have, this is your input on the top, and then you have an output here and an output here, and those both feed into the redstone furnace. Now what you can do, is you can run more item ducts here. You can run item ducts into the bottom of the furnace, okay? And the last step is you need to power everything. So I'll just go here. I'll just get a uh, uh, generator. Oh, yeah, simple uh, furnace generator will work. So I'll just stick that right there. And now you have to run your your uh, your leadstone into the old generator and into each of the machines. Now, I, what I usually do is I'll put the generator my generators in the back of my house are deep in a hole and then I can just run all the power up into wherever these are that way it's all hidden and neat all right so now I think we're just about done here so now the one final step is you gotta make sure everything's configured right so we have our input is blue main outputs red secondary outputs yellow so what you need to do is wherever that that your uh, your chest connects into that has to be blue so if you connect into the side then this one needs to be blue. If you can actually the top like I have, top needs to be blue. So this actually needs to be red because that is an output. So you need one red and one yellow output. So one red here, that's what this is on this left side. And then a yellow is the down. Okay, so does that make sense? Easy enough. Now we'll go to the redstone furnace, same thing. The input is blue, the output is what is that like orange so since the orange is on the bottom here this actually needs to be the bottom one needs to be orange otherwise it'll get stuck in the furnace here so now you just fire it up there's some coal in the generator 
And then we can go to uh, over to our chest here. This and another thing is this side does not need a servo. So then you can go in here and place your four in here. And it should see it's getting pulled out. I put 56 in. It's getting drawn out. Now it's going through this item duct. It takes a little bit. If you get a nicer item duct, it'll go faster. The servo pulls it through, goes up to this pipe, and into this pulverizer. In a second here, it'll go through. Uh, it takes a couple seconds here. <laughs> All right, there you go. Iron ore made its way in. 16, it'll process. So pulverized iron's in the red, okay? So since the output's right here, in a second, it'll get pulled out and put into this redstone furnace. All right, see how they're moving out? They're leaving. Now they're coming through this pipe. And now, sometimes with uh, different ores, you'll get two outputs. So like, I think iron will produce iron and nickel. And then so the nickel will come out the bottom. But that, that iron's going through here and fell in here. And now it's in here. And I see now it's smelting there. It's popping out. Where's it going? Well, it's going into that item duct. And then into this chest. Just like that. Um, a couple other things you can do with this. So uh, this setup here, it's in a house. Nice and neat. You can't even tell. I just have it all stored in the back. Usually what I do in my main worlds is I'll put it in the basement. And then I kind of make a little, uh, little lab for myself. So uh, thanks for watching.